G'day guys, Nathan Fletcher here for The Drunk Philosopher. So I was reading some articles and there's been a thing that's been going on as, a, as an idea for years, I guess. The idea that kids should vote, you know, 16 year old kids should vote, things like this. And it came up when I was a kid, you know, about 15, 16 too, what was that, 1995 something around that sort of area. And, you know, at the time I thought, that's a great idea, you know, you're 16, you're gung-ho, you think you know everything. Um, looking back, I realise now what, why we shouldn't let 16-year-olds vote. But then again, after the other day, we had these big protests. Uh, all the school kids, because their teachers said, hey, let's go and protest uh, Save the Environment. Um, and so they got all the kids wild up and worked up, all the teachers and, and some of the parents, and they took them out on a big excursion, which was uh, reported in the press as a huge protest. Uh, even, even though some of the signs were not age appropriate, like fuck ScoMo, you know, fuck the Prime Minister. You know, you've got some 12 year old kid going, yeah, fuck the Prime Minister. And you can't tell me that there wasn't some political uh, argy bargy done on that kid. What the hell is a 12 year old doing knowing or caring about fuck ScoMo or fuck Shorten or fuck any of them? You know, a 12 year old kid knows nothing about politics, and there's a good reason for the re for that. But they're saying, well, now we should lower the age, and then I saw age again, and then I saw something in The Guardian. Now, if you want a shit rag, something to wipe your ass with, you know, I don't know if, if there's, a, there's an actual paper version of it, but if there is, it's only good for wiping your ass with after you've laughed at it whilst taking a piss or a dump on the loo. I am not kidding you. This is one of the most, you know, Fox is pretty bad. It's really right wing bias. CNN and 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 the Age and that that's the same thing. This Guardian man, it's out on Pluto. I don't even know if it's left or right, but Jesus Christ, it's terrible. It's good for toilet paper. It's a laugh on the toilet whilst you do a dump, then wipe your ass with it, flush it down the loo. This is article, and lots. Of, the funny thing is, lots of people read it. I mean, it's pretty much 99% opinion pieces. I mean, you're listening to an opinion piece now, so I suppose, you know, what the fuck. But uh, it's it's worth reading for a giggle. Maybe I'm worth watching for a giggle. Hit that subscribe button, like the video. <laughs> anyway, getting back to the subject, you know, these kids know nothing. Um, it's not, I don't think you really should have a political say until you have to start paying taxes, uh, start paying bills, you've got uh, your own expenses, and, and suddenly you have to, you're not just voting for a party that your parents like or whatever, you know, whichever church you, you went to as a child, if you like the, the political religious analogy, maybe. You, you start going, well, A, what's my temperament? B, what's my situation? And C, who should I vote for given those two factors? Um, as an adult, and it's like, well, okay, um, I'm paying too much for electricity. Well, which politician is uh, running a platform, which means I'm going to pay a little bit less for electricity. You know, you start looking at policies from a fiscal point of view as well as just from a social point of view, which gives you a better whole rounded uh, view on politics and society, uh, which kids don't get. And that's fine. And I don't want the fucking, you know, we keep piling responsibilities on children. The responsibilities of adults on children. We're the adults, right? Well, at the moment, we want the kids to be the adults. You make the decisions for us. You should have a right to those decisions. No, they shouldn't. Let them be kids. Let them learn their responsibilities. Let them work their way into their responsibilities. You know, teach them about politics, maybe, sure. But don't force it down their throats. I mean... This Guardian article says six, This some professor guy, six. Giving a kid the age of six, a kid, a kid at the age of six wouldn't know, say in Australia, wouldn't know Liberal Party from Labor Party from his ball sack. And I'm not kidding you, you know. A six-year-old kid, it's, they, they, they have no idea. A 16-year-old kid has no idea, male or female, you know, they're more worried about who's dating who and who's sleeping with who and, and which band is playing this weekend at the at the Ritz, you know. <laughs> That's just what a 16-year-old cares about, you know. Who's got a driver's license that can drive us to, to a mate's place who's going to, you know, ply us with alcohol? You know, <laughs> the, the fun shit that you do when you're 16, let's, let's not burden these kids before they, they, they have to be burdened. You know, and it is a burden. Politics is a burden, man, because you've got to think about it and you've well, you should think about it. You've got to honestly just 
get into the numbers, get into the policies and go, okay, well, which is the best group by via policy as well as uh, social policy as well as fiscal policy? Um, I'm not sure a lot of people do that, but nowadays everyone's a little bit more politically aware. So hopefully that's uh, the case. But the other thing that sort of gets me with this sort of idea is is these, you know, once again, the, the university, the uh, the intellectual aristocrat, they've lost their fucking minds. The university professors come out and they say this this dumb shit like, you should let a six-year-old vote. Or they come out and they tell you how to live your life. And it's like, dude, you're, you're like numbers and facts and figures and shit. But real life at my level, the blue collar level, you wouldn't have a damn clue what goes on from day to day. You know, you want to save the world. You're not going to save the world. Is there even a world to save, you know? But anyway, it's, it, it's this, this aristocracy that's coming from the universities, you, you'll end up killing the university because nobody will want to send their kids there. Nobody will want to send their kids to a place where they're going to become politicised against common sense. That which makes sense. I understand these postmodernist types. They they, they have uh, you know. There's a whole million ways to interpret everyone, everything. You know the Foucault sense of anarchy, I guess. But here's the problem: you need to have definitions and rules in order for a society to work, or even just a small group as a function to work, right? So it means you have to have things defined. Well, there are some things in our society that are really good ideas. Not everything. But there's a hell of a lot of things that are really good. And, and you know, you can try to destroy them, but the truth is that you'll probably find, because some of these ideas, like do unto others as you'd have others do unto you, that's cross-cultural. That's pretty much all over the world. That's not just a Western ideal. So, you know, I could probably think of a few others if I actually stopped this video and, and sat silently for two minutes looking at the screen going, Ugh, which I'm not going to do. So there you go. Six-year-old kids should not be able to vote. I'm Nathan Fletcher. I am the Drunk Philosopher. And I'll catch you good folk on the flip side. Uru.